Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So last time, last week, I talked about um, natural painless birth tips. And guess what? I'm 35 weeks pregnant uh, and uh, we discovered, me and my midwife, that my baby is breached. <laughs> it's a very interesting challenge or, well, I don't want to call it challenge, but uh, very interesting information because uh, here in California, at least, um, if your baby is presented breech at, you know, the birth, you basically can't do home birth. Uh, which puts me on a journey to uh, try to encourage baby to change its position into head down position. Um, my midwife tried to tr turn the baby last Saturday, no, Sunday, and that was unsuccessful. The baby was like, no, I'm not gonna move. Um, not an inch, <laughs> uh, which was pretty scary. I think especially even like for her because she's actually very uh, skilled in it. She's specializing in spinning babies and uh, not being able to turn the baby at week, like, you know, uh, ending for 34 weeks. That was kind of like, um, I guess, very interesting experience for her and for me. It was painful experience, as some some of you might have experienced that. So I just felt unprepared in that moment because we discovered it on Sunday morning, and then when when I came in and she said it to do like the exercise for spinning babies for the whole week, and then I would come in this coming Saturday, a uh, Sunday, and then uh, I would we would try to turn the baby but then we had a birthing class in the evening with her and I told her you know based on my conception date I would be probably more at 35 weeks because she was measuring also the baby bigger than 34 weeks so she was like wow that kind of makes sense which doesn't give us much time to turn the baby um, on its own so she decided that she just wants to do it after the birth class which was late it was like almost nine o'clock in the evening and she was kind of tired you know i was just kind of shocked <laughs> that it's gonna happen right away uh, and i knew that it's not gonna be a pleasant experience so i was pretty uncomfortable you know but i was just like well whatever uh let's try to do it and and she was kind of like an attitude also like let's get this done and you know we're gonna do it so another midwife uh, my other midwife she was like preparing me to do all different kinds of exercises and kind of like loosening and then it just didn't work so I was just like oops okay what are we gonna do um, so I scheduled um, at my hospital because I have Kaiser so I can actually have both midwife and hospital care so I went um, yesterday which was Wednesday to get an ultrasound to make sure that the baby um, you know doesn't have its cord around you know the body or something that it's preventing the baby from turning um, if, if the placenta is in the way or something so we just wanted to rule out me and my midwife any possibility of possibly harming the baby if we would try to turn the baby it seems like there's no anything that would prevent physically the baby from turning so right now or well, this whole week I am doing spinning exercises so as you might see some of them it's just like head down so you have your butt up either on couch or you know like something and you're just like lying on your on your hands and your your elbows and you just breathe in into that position for some time uh, another one is that you actually put your back and your butt up and your head down and you are also trying to you know breathe through that usually it's good to stay in this position for at least uh, about 10 minutes uh, I've heard what helps also to put uh, ice pack or something on the you know side of the head of the baby so it kind of like encourages the baby to get away from the cold <laughs> it hasn't changed the position yet um, so far well I mean I just had the ultrasound yesterday so it was still breached 
um, and I'm trying to talk to baby and meditate and and just try to connect and see you know where is my fear coming from and I think that my one of my fear was that I would have a breech baby and that I wouldn't be able to give birth naturally which presented itself right now um, but I still believe that you know sometimes babies turn the last days or you know last minutes even before the birth so I'm still hopeful and I still hope that the baby is gonna turn and we're gonna have uh, home home birth um, but also at the same time I'm all kind of like in the moment trying to accept the fact that it might be my baby's idea of a different way of coming into this world than natural birth um, so you know I'm just I'm tr not trying to focus on like the worst outcome uh, that would be for me c-section um, as of like you know it's just not natural but at the same time I'm grateful that it's a possibility if there are some problems or if there are some um, uh, some complications um, I personally don't think that breech baby has to be necessarily a big complication but unfortunately there are not many uh, doctors who would be willing to deliver breech baby vaginally uh, also you have to be the you know uh, the candidate for it and um, since 2014 I think <clears throat> it's not legal for midwives to attend breech birth unless it's surprise but right now it's not surprise so we we're trying um, I just had an acupuncture a treatment with a uh, person who is doing uh, it's called moxa uh, treatment so basically the pinkies on your toes are connected to your wound so now you're with that special stick heating those points up and uh, it's supposed to encourage the baby for moving as well I'm gonna have um, also a chiropractor appointment later today uh, they do a special technique that is called Webster technique and they basically also like you know just adjust your pelvis and, and your hips and they're also creating space that is more natural for the baby to encourage the baby to turn um, on its own and then uh, I'm still doing the exercises three times a day uh, it's also hips moving and uh, just some stretching uh, my husband is also helping with Robonzo. Uh, you can Google it, what Robonzo means. It's just like basically you're just um, moving fast your belly. So that encourages the baby to move as well in the right position. Well, head down position. And um, then we're going to try to move the baby with my midwife on Sunday if the baby hasn't changed its position until then. And see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> um, and I, I know that at the end of the day, everything's gonna be fine, and no matter how the baby is gonna be born, it's gonna be okay. But I definitely, uh, you know, have to look up to my own words and and work with some fears, through some fears, and um, try to understand why this is happening. Um, it's a good life lesson basically uh, like you're never really ready for anything <laughs> life just happens and um, you just have to deal with it and go through it so I'm gonna do my best um, and I'm still gonna you know talk to the baby and, and do all these exercises and hope that the baby is gonna be head down soon so we can actually have the natural home birth that I envisualized for myself and my baby. Well, thank you for watching me. Um, I hope that some of this information might have been helpful for you too. Uh, please leave comments if you want to, you know, if you had breech birth or if you had a breech baby and it turned, you know, I'm definitely interested in your comments or your support. <laughs> I definitely can use any support that is out there. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day and be content and beautiful. Bye!